Hey guys, Fish Me back with another video, and today I just got a quick update video. Um, what's playing in the background is my match for third placement in the Pokemon Haven tournament. Um, after I lost to Eric, you know, I played uh, Vanessa, and you know, it's a good game. Watch out for it. Um, we did have a little hiccup where we lost connection and tried to replay the turns, and um, Cinderace didn't get a kill that it should have, but you know, you guys can watch that. And just letting you guys know that I have a couple videos coming up. You know, I am in three draft leagues currently. Um, I'm in the Pokemon World Domination, the Shadows uh, Draft League, and the BSL. So, you know, look forward to those videos. I did play my week one, but unfortunately I lost the video clip due to my Elgato. So I'm just waiting for um, my opponent to send me the clip so I could do my own voiceover. And also, um, I messed up the audio in the my first match of the playoffs of the Pokemon World Domination. So I apologize for that. But yeah, just look out for those videos coming this week in the next couple weeks. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. So on um, rank battles, usually when a sh closer goes for the shell smash and I U-turn out, I go into Seismitoad and I pick up a kill with the Earth Power because they're not expecting my Seismitoad to be faster than their plus two cloister. But what happened was this cloister is Jolly, which I have never encountered a Jolly cloister. It's a good... Um, it's a good tech on her part so when I go for my earth power I actually go second and I just kind of sack my size until to uh cloister's ice cream spear after I lost my seismitoad I figured that dreadnought would be able to live a uh a ice cream spear and I would be able to call it back with the earthquake you know um, which is at minus one defense. So, yeah, here. I should decide to go for the earthquake. I should go for the rock blast. So I'm like, Dreadnought's defense is pretty good, so I should be able to live this. You know, it gets a little scary. If she got a crit, then um, that would have been big. Yeah, so I'll go for earthquake. And unfortunately, it does not KO. So here I sack two mons to the cloister. Um, I was not sure how to go about <laughs> facing a jolly cloister. Because especially in the rain, I'm used to my mons being faster than everything. So I just go out to uh, Cinderace here to Sucker Punch. Now, here's the thing. In the first game we played... Cinderace was able to KO the Cloister, which I'll run the clip right now. Too bad I did lose my seismic. You see, but what actually happened in the second game was Cloister lived and I lost my Cinderace. Now, from where we went from there, it was like what should we do you know what i'm saying because in the first game i actually got the ko and this one i did so what she decided to do was give me a free ko which kind of sucks um i decided to take road so from here i sent in pelipper because i wasn't sure what she wanted to do if we would have restarted but she decided to let me kill cloister so she goes for a shell smash and then um i get the free kill on rotom so Guys, Cinder Ace for Rotom is a good trade. You know, I was a little discouraged after losing um, my Seismitoad and Dreadnought. So here I'm just gonna go into Crawdot. Fairly sure that a knockoff is gonna kill the Rotom.
so now another play that had happened was um, when I had out my Cinderace, I she sent out Barrascuta and I switched in Ferrothorn on a close combat from Barrascuta, so that was a great read on her part. So we're gonna reenact that here. Even though I had the Chopper Berry, Barrascuta hit so hard. So I think I'm pretty sure it left me at half. Definitely know that without my berry, I cannot live another close combat. So I'm pretty sure I switch into Pelipper here to set the rain back up, also. So yeah, I bring in Pelipper on um, Skuda's close combat. You know, I am a bold max defense, max HP developer, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to tank this hit. It does about uh, 40 to 38. So here, with Bear Scooter at minus 2 special defense, I'm pretty sure a, um, a Skull would kill in the rain. So I was just checking her team to see who she might switch into. Probably a Quagsire because I was... I wasn't sure if it was a uh, water absorb or unaware here. So yeah, that does about 50. Just gonna go off another skull. In her own Pelipper. Now, I wasn't sure what she might have she might have wanted to do, so I just go for the knockoff. Because I felt like we were gonna sit there and roost back and forth. I just wanted to see uh, that's definitely a max um, HP Pelipper. As she goes for the U-turn. brings into the valley. So now I wanna check what type it is. So I do just that and I see that it's a fire type. So I'm like okay uh, maybe I sh I'll live you know an attack. I'm not sure what Savali can have. And it turns out it has Thunderbolt. This is the first time I battle with Savali so I feel like most of the match was just because of my uh so I'll go into my Ferrothorn here because I, I figured since it was so Valley Fire, I figured I could live in the rain though, you know. So I just go for a Leech Seed, expecting to tank the hit, but Ferrothorn being four times weak to fire will not be able to live that flame though in the rain. So all that's left is my crown out now. I gotta hope that I can kind of crit <laughs> these Aqua Jets. I could have went for Crab Hammer, but that would have allowed me to be slower than a uh, Barrasquita, and then I would have just got um, close combat to the face. And I already knocked off the Pelipper, so there wasn't really much I could do to an Aqua Jet. Even if um, I'm pretty sure Savali is faster than Crawdon, so if I didn't Aqua Jet, I would just got it Thunderbolted. And here, she's just gonna, uh, she's just gonna bring in Pelipper and kind of just clean up, you know, with a couple hurricanes, and that'll be the game. So yeah, GG's to Vanessa. You know, definitely came with a ring team that I was not expecting, and turns out her Cloister was Jolly. You know, I have 
played against a Jolly Placer, but now I know. You know, definitely a learning experience. Um, definitely got to scout a couple things out. What I should have done, I should have went into Cloyster and Aqua Jetted the. I should have went into Crawdon and Aqua Jetted the Cloyster. Uh, we get a lucky dodge there. Yeah, if I would have Aqua Jetted the Cloyster, it would have put it in range of Cinderace's Sucker Punch, and I'm pretty sure Crawdon might have lived the uh, Icicle Spear from uh, Cloyster. So yeah, definitely gonna make that play instead of the um, the size Matilda play. Yeah, and too bad that the Sucker Punch didn't kill this time. But, you know, it's all fun games. And that Hurricane is going to pick off Crawdot, and that will be GG's. So definitely look out for more content from me. Uh, whether it be Wi-Fi battles or Smash stuff, you know, stay tuned.